Got that one. Got that one. Hey guys, Ryan Gill here with Hunt Primitive, where we entertain, educate, and inspire. And on this channel, we do a lot of primitive how-to builds and hunting videos. This is going to be a how-to or an instructional video. So if this is your first time following along, do please consider subscribing. But what we're going to talk about today is everything that you need to know about shooting off the knuckle. No arrow rest at all. So this is one of my bows. And you can see, no arrow rest, sinew string, no knocking point. We're going to get into that right now. All right, we're going to make this incredibly short and sweet. So, pretty much everything that you need to know about shooting off the knuckle is people, I guess we're going to start off with a couple of the questions and concerns that people have, and that is, does it tear your hand up? How do you be accurate? This is the number one question I get. How are you accurate without a knocking point? and a shelf to guide the arrow. Well, uh, muscle memory in your hands will train in a short amount of time, very short amount of time shooting the bow, that you will grab the bow in the same place every time. I can tell you if I slide down a quarter of an inch, I can feel that difference. So your hand will pretty much go to the same place every time. Now on your sinew bowstring, you're gonna notice, or any bowstring for that matter, you're gonna see a little bit of some dark spots where you hold hold it with your fingers also a little bit of a chafed spot on the string and so it doesn't take long at all when you start shooting this arrow it's going to start polishing the leather grip so that's why when we do the leather grips on these we're not shooting above the leather grip you can use that as a guide but listen this is noisy you can hear it hopefully you can hear that and then when you pull it across leather it's not it's not nearly as noisy that way so that's why I shoot right across the leather as opposed to the wood itself. So you're going to polish a little spot on the handle, and that's how you're going to know where it goes. I can literally put that on, and it's going to be in the same place pretty much every single time. And I just never worry about it. Some of the first times that I ever hunted with this, I was getting concerned, and I was constantly stopping and looking at it to make sure that it was adjusted right. And you just learn over a period of time. You just, you just know. The more you do it, the more you practice, and it doesn't take long to do it, but the more you practice, the more you do it, the easier it's going to be. So you just get out and try it. Now, if you have concerns that you're going to tear your hand up shooting, remember primitive archery, our feathers are wrapped at the bottom and top with sinew so they don't catch your hands when you shoot, but also don't go outside and just rip. 300 shots in a day and tear your hand up go out and shoot a little bit if your hand starts to get sore right here from the feathers hitting it then go inside and let it heal for a couple days if you just beat it right down until it's an open wound and then you just keep beating it it's not going to heal so just build up a tolerance over time I can shoot now and never ever even feel the arrow running across my knuckle ever now I can be walking through the woods and have uh, with an arrow even ready and then take a shot and if I need a follow-up shot I can pull one right out of my quiver and I can literally put it on that fast and I just don't have to worry about I know it's where it's supposed to be and also if it's a little up or a little down or you are adjusted ever so slightly you think that that is gonna make a huge difference on your accuracy downrange and it really doesn't because even if it's up ever so slightly, your mind is looking down this arrow. You know, your peripheral uh, vision is focused down this arrow. So you're just simply adjusting for that little bit of pitch angle. So it's not nearly that big of a deal. And I do encourage everybody that's interested in primitive archery to get into shooting off the knuckle in natural material bowstrings. It's a really cool, really unique way nowadays of shooting and to me it's really rewarding. I've got bows that I still make for customers and even shoot occasionally myself that have arrow rests and knocking points uh, and all that but the more and more that I get into serious primitive hunting I love, I absolutely love to shoot a bow that doesn't have an arrow rest at all. It's got a natural material string because it just really again it's one more way to bring, to bring you even closer to your environment and just shooting a really primitive setup and it's you're not handicapped at all you get used to it it's super easy and quite honestly I'm gonna have a hard time ever going back after really getting used to shooting sinew strings and off uh, the knuckle setups just like these ones so hey thanks for following along we'll catch you on 
the next adventure.